With this endless parade of distractions and political posturing and phony scandals, Washington's taken its eye off the ball. And I'm here to say this needs to stop. I can tell you, having been an artillery officer, you don't send anyone into a combat assault on an aircraft without first preparing that landing zone, by first suppressing any type of air defense that could be around it. I had also the privilege of sitting in on that classified briefing. That operation had been going on for three and a half hours. To launch a Chinook helicopter into the night to go into an operation, a hot zone, that was something that was absolutely violates every single principle of employment and tactics for the United States military. Why that was done, I have no idea. Ever since the Pentagon was exposed as lying about the 2002 death in combat of the former football star Pat Tillman, remember that one? He was actually killed by friendly fire, not by enemy action, as the official story said. Well, ever since then, back in 2002, up until now, there has been skepticism about official stories like this one we're talking about right now, claiming that a lucky shot took down the chopper-carrying members of SEAL Team 6 in Afghanistan just three months after those uh, SEALs took down Osama bin Laden in 2011. Karen and Billy Vaughn are the parents of slain SEAL Aaron Vaughn, who lost his life on the doomed chopper. I welcome you both, uh, 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 Vaughn. So are you heartened by the fact that Congress now has reopened an investigation into the facts and circumstances of the shootdown of the Chinook that had your son on board? Absolutely, uh, Geraldo. Just let me tell you first, thank you for having us tonight. And uh, we are, we are heartened by that. Yes, thank you, Geraldo, for having us. Yes, um, this will be the first official investigation outside of the investigation that the military did on their own. So uh, this is something Billy and I have been working towards for about a year and a half now. So we're very encouraged right now. Uh, yes. tell, tell me, Karen, if, if you would, and I'm so delighted that you're on board. What do you see as the most egregious misrepresentation of the official story of the helicopter being shot by one low-level Taliban fighter who got off a lucky shot with an RPG? Um, it would be hard to pinpoint just one thing that's egregious about it, Geraldo, honestly. Um, there are so many issues that we have questions about right now that uh, it, it, it would take you and I sitting down for days to discuss these issues. That's how serious it is. And I want to point out to everybody listening tonight, and again, thank you so much for giving us this platform and your time. I, I know that you have a heart for the military. Um, but, but one thing that I want you to know is that before Congress made the decision to launch this investigation, they did about a month's worth of research on the documentation that we had given them, and and that's when they decided it needed to be looked into. So uh, it's not just us feeling this way. Congress has agreed that it definitely needs an investigation. So, Billy, before I get to the man who broke the story of the congressional investigation, do you think there's a government cover-up of the what really happened that awful night? Um, there, there, there is a cover-up, um, maybe not about what really happened, but uh, there was no pre-assault fire, and uh, you heard uh, Congressman Allen West say there'd been a three-and-a-half-hour operation going on. Uh, we have testimony from uh, military men in the theater that night that say it's almost impossible to get permission for pre-assault fire. The chopper was sent into a hot zone. Uh, an antiquated chopper because we don't have enough special operation choppers available to our special operations uh, operators because of the stepped up uh, missions by this administration. Uh, 1960 something model CH 47 Chinook built uh, and retrofitted in the 1980s. Oh, I, uh, I, spent, not I spent plenty of time on plenty of time on those old birds, and they leak hydraulic fluid. There's <laughs> gooky stuff dripping from the ceiling. It's uh, uh, you, you hold your breath when you go up in them. But uh, Karen and Billy, hold on. Let me bring on Bob Cusack, the managing editor of the Hill, uh, thehill.com. They broke the story. The Congress had decided to investigate the terrible crash. So, so Bob, have you have you made an assessment? of the concerns of the parents, or are you merely reporting, not merely, I don't mean in any way right. to denigrate your, your story, uh, are you saying that uh, Jason Chaffetz and the other congressmen are really going to probe this thing in a, in a, in an eye, with an eye toward finding out what really happened? 
Well, Geraldo, a lot of questions here. I mean, I've looked at the documentation and the photos of it, and, and the Pentagon would not answer about a dozen questions that I asked them. Uh, they never recovered the black box. They said a flash flood happened in Afghanistan, so they, they never recovered uh, that. The bodies of the soldiers were cremated, all of them, uh, even though Jason Chaffet says he saw a photo uh, that said that body didn't need to be cremated. That was without the parents' uh, permission. So a lot of questions here, and that's why the probe is starting. Now, one of the key factors here is that the soldiers themselves were concerned about the leaks from the Obama administration about the raid of bin Laden. Uh, and one of the uh, uh, fathers I talked to, Charlie Strange, who lost his uh, son, Michael, said that Michael came up with a will after the bin Laden raid because he was nervous. Uh, and that was something that Charlie said very strange for his son to say. Then, of course, uh, Michael went back Wait, uh, into Afghanistan. Wait, are you saying time, Bob, are you saying yeah. that by revealing that it was SEAL Team 6 that took out bin Laden, it placed SEAL Team 6 in greater peril going forward? But would the enemy really know how to find SEAL Team 6 to kill them? Well, one of the things also is that seven Afghani uh, soldiers that were on the manifest, on the passenger list at the last second, were changed. The Pentagon has acknowledged that. There are questions. Who were those seven that got on uh, board there? So there are questions ah, about that. That is interesting that someone might have taken down the chopper to kill the, the SEALs uh, yes. as, as part of a Could suicide be. mission. I get it. I hadn't figured yeah. that one. But that's uh, very interesting, Bob. So anyway, listen, I want to tell you and, and Karen and Billy, I, I just want to promise you that uh, we will stay on this story. You know, I'm, I'm very involved with the military. Uh, the, this issue of, you know, the Pat Tillman thing really shook my confidence uh, with, uh, with official stories, particularly under these kind of hinky, murky circumstances. So because SEAL Team 6 has done so, so much for this country and for history, uh, I promise you're going to stay on this story as it unfolds. So thank you very much for being with us uh, tonight. I really appreciate it.